Hey guys, it's Todd. I'm on day 164 of my run streak. Uh, thanks for checking in. Uh, things are going really, really well. Excited about that. Thanks for the recommendations on uh, some different podcasts. I've, uh, I've been listening to them, incorporating them into my workouts. Uh, one of the great recommendations I got was the Billy Yang podcast, which is a uh, more ultra running podcast. If you haven't listened to it, and if you're into some of the longer distance running, definitely give it uh, a listen. There's some really good stuff there. Uh, so thanks uh, for that recommendation. If you have any recommendations for me on uh, other new podcasts, I'd love to uh, hear those too. So today we're gonna be talking about techniques to help you run longer. Ways to keep you out on the road, keep you feeling good, and really helping you to achieve your goals. So uh, one of the the big things that you know people struggle with as they're starting their running program is how do I start running longer? You know that that weekend long run is this the dreaded thing. Like oh my god, how am I going to run 10 miles or 15 miles or 20 miles? So these are some things that help me. Hopefully they'll help you too. So number one, when we're trying to get to run longer, um, there's a few things you can do. Number one, I want to say please make sure you're doing your long runs at an easier pace, especially as a beginner, um, at an easier pace than your regular weekday run. So if you're running normally right now, let's say eight to 10 minutes a mile on your normal run, or even 12 minutes a mile on your normal run, back that off by a couple minutes per mile. So if it's eight to 10 right now, maybe it's 10 to 12 uh, on, your, on your long run. If you're you know, 12 right now, back that down to 14. That's okay, the goal is to stay out there, to feel good for a longer amount of time. So don't try to race your long run, you don't need to. Number two, um, ways that you can do this so that you can stay out there longer, try the walk run method, especially as a beginner. So if you're scared of that long run, go walk uh, a minute or walk two minutes and then run for five to 10 minutes and then take another walk break for a minute or two. This is gonna do a few things. Number one, it's gonna bring your heart rate down, um, which will help you know, kind of just keep your, your energy levels up. Two, it, uh, your, your body and biomechanics change a bit from running to walking. It's gonna take some stress off the knees, the hips, the back, the shins. It's gonna, again, help you recover so that in that next running segment, you're gonna feel better. A way that I've been able, it's really hard for me sometimes to slow down on my long runs. Uh, and so a way that I've been able to do that is run based on heart rate. So this is gonna require either like a Garmin or a Polar monitor or some other uh, monitor that does heart rate. And it's okay if it's a chest strap heart rate or a wrist heart rate, either one's fine. Um, but something that you can measure your heart rate and, and look in and see it while you're going, okay? So what I would recommend if you normally run, if you can set a baseline, you normally run let's say 140 to 150 beats per minute on your normal run, back that off to like 130 for your long run. Again, this is not the easiest thing to do. You're gonna to have to check in quite a bit to start to get down to a pace and it's gonna feel slow and that's okay. The goal here is to get through the long run, uh, not to race the long run like I said earlier. Um, the other tip I have here is maybe change it up completely. This is something I, I've done in the past and I still do from time to time. Rather than run based on mileage, so rather than saying, hey, I need to hit 10 miles today or 12 miles today, run based on time. I'm gonna hit an hour and 15 minutes. This is what I do right now for um, for all my, my weekend long runs. I'm gonna do 75 minutes a day, or I'm gonna do 90 minutes today. I don't worry about the mileage. The mileage will come if I focus on the time. And it's just time on feet. So if I'm walking, running, it doesn't matter. It's still time on feet. So that's been something that's definitely helped me a lot. Last couple things I'll say here. Um, make sure that when you're running, um, you're taking care of your nutrition, especially on your long runs. So if you're gonna be out there for 90 minutes, have a couple goos with you, make sure you have water or have some stops along your route where you can get water. Um, carry a handheld hydration pack or a, a hydration vest. Um, make sure you're taking care of those uh, nutrition needs while you're out on the run. And then the last thing, make sure you're running on a fresh pair of shoes. And no, I don't mean go out and buy a brand new pair of shoes for every long run. Um, that'd be nice, but we don't necessarily have all that, uh, that ability every, uh, every weekend. Make sure you're rotating your shoes. So wearing one pair one day and then one pair the next day, you're always on a fresh pair of foam that way, a fresh pair of uh, uh, shoes and your, your main impact points, your body is gonna thank you for it. Your, again, your shins, your knees, your hips, your back, you're running on non-compressed cushioning when you start your run and that's gonna be a big help. If you'd like me to go into more about like uh, shoe rotation and different biomechanics, uh, I'd be happy to on a future uh, podcast so or uh, episode. 
And uh, if you have any questions or comments about what's helped you run longer, uh, run easier, I'd love to see those comments as well. So until next time, I'll see you on the road.